Hello everybody, I'm Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-332, the 1976 Kirk Lawnwood High School Marching Band. Let's begin. Item Number SCP-332 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Observation Station 55B has been constructed to monitor and study SCP-332. Fences designed to contain SCP-332's stationary effect have been demolished and replaced by a research station dedicated to observing SCP-332 in its dormant state. When SCP-332 enters its active state, all site personnel are to monitor the length and intensity of the sound produced by SCP-332 from soundproofed observation areas until the active state ceases. Any affected civilians are to be detained indefinitely under the cover of an infectious disease outbreak. SCP-1833 has been placed under constant observation in case of any alterations. Description. SCP-332 is the class of 1976 Kirk Lawnwood High School Marching Band, located in the town of Redacted. The band is composed of 30 humanoids, known as SCP-332-1 through 30. All 30 instances of SCP-332 wear 1976 band uniforms, and play instruments manufactured before 1976. The words Syncope Symphony have been engraved into each instrument. Individuals within SCP-332 do not display normal human behavior and will stand at attention in the center of the former Kirk Lawnwood High School football field. Occasionally, individual instances of SCP-332 have been known to suddenly begin struggling with an unseen force before returning to their normal stance. The reason for this behavior is unknown. No instance of SCP-332 has ever attempted to communicate with Foundation personnel. Instances of SCP-332 do not appear to feel hunger, pain, or suffer from exposure to the elements, and were observed to stand in the same location for over 30 years. Once every 48 hours, SCP-332 will enter an active state. While active, SCP-332 will perform a marching routine. Music played by SCP-332 varies, but it primarily consists of marching arrangements popular between 1967 to 1976. Sounds produced by SCP-332 have a consistent volume throughout the active zone, with the sound fading abruptly outside of that zone. If a subject is able to hear the music played by SCP-332, they will attempt to obtain any instrument near them and join SCP-332 in playing. Subjects affected in this manner, hereafter known as SCP-332-B, will report high amounts of anxiety if unable to obtain a musical instrument within 10 minutes of coming under SCP-332's effect. If they are unable to join SCP-332 within 10 minutes, they will walk with the band and begin miming an instrument as they march with the band, and will attempt to replace the sound being produced by SCP-332 with their voice. Instances of SCP-332-B who join with SCP-332 will march and play until they pass out from exhaustion or hunger at which point they will be trampled by other instances of SCP-332-B and SCP-332. For every 10 SCP-332-B instances who join SCP-332, the area of effect will increase by 300 meters. This radius of effect will expand until all instances of SCP-332-B are terminated or incapacitated, at which point SCP-332's active state will immediately cease. SCP-332 was contained following Incident 332-A, the incident during which SCP-332 was initially activated. Between the point from when it activated to being disabled by Foundation agents, Incident 332-A resulted in the deaths of 40% of Kirk Lawnwood High School staff and students. 
The school was closed down under the pretense of fire damage, with students, locals, and survivors being issued Class B amnesiacs. Successful containment for SCP-332 was achieved on July 19, 1976, with a classification of Euclid. Addendum 332-B Transcript of Incident 332-A During initial cleanup operations following SCP-332's containment, a 16mm camera was discovered outside what would have been the first story window of Kirk Lawnwood High School. The transcript of this video, although highly corrupted, is the only record of Incident 332-A. Begin Log 0 to 10 seconds. The camera is pointed out a large window, believed to be in the school's front office. Several members of SCP-332 can be seen preparing their instruments on the field. There is no sound. 10 seconds to 1 minute 34 seconds. The camera swings towards unidentified woman number 1. It is believed that the cameraman is speaking to her, although no sound can be heard. One of SCP-332's clarinet players can be seen walking by in the background. 1 minute 34 to 4 minutes 55. Section of the tape is damaged, no identifiable content present. 4 minutes 55 to 5 minutes. Picture and sound briefly become clear, and a voice believed to belong to unidentified woman number one remarks about one band member's outfit having an unusual attribute, although what was unusual about it is not heard. 5 minutes to 6 minutes 2 seconds. Static. 6 minutes 2 seconds to 8 minutes 4 seconds. Sound and picture return with greatly improved quality with the cameraman chatting with unidentified woman number one. Unidentified woman number two is heard off screen at seven minutes, nine seconds, referencing a band equipment supplier known as Syncope Symphony and remarking that she was unable to find it with the information that was provided to her. Unidentified man number one, also in the background, claims that he will investigate it at a later date. Eight minutes, four seconds to 16 minutes, 22. Sound cuts out again. Camera is pointed out to the field as SCP-332 begins to perform. At the 11 minute mark, several persons in the audience begin to exhibit signs of distress. At the 11 minute 30 seconds mark, the camera is violently jerked away from the floor and dropped. Several persons, including the cameraman and unidentified woman number two, are seen to move around the office in a state of distress. At the 11 minutes 45 second mark, SCP-332 enters an active state. Unidentified woman number one is seen to exit the office to go outside at the 16 minute mark. 16 minutes 22 to 18 minutes 45 seconds. Static. 18 minutes 45 to 19 minutes. The camera is picked up and pans around the room. Several seemingly deceased persons are visible in frame, including the original cameraman. The camera is briefly pointed out the window, where SCP-332 can be seen playing. The tape ends at the 19 minute mark. End log. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and would like to hear more, please consider liking and subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, if there are any SCPs that you would like to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.